Welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Fire is a real danger and a risk with 3D printing. When you think about it, when you're printing PET-G, the nozzle becomes over 230 degrees centigrade. That's 2.3 times higher than the point of boiling water. Paper, filament, other things can easily catch on fire. And if your printer catches on fire, you're going to have a problem with your printer, but also you could be having a problem with your home. Let's talk about fire suppression. Let's consider fire suppression a way to put this fire out immediately. Save your printer, save your workshop, save your home. This is my printer, it's a Prusa XL, and I want to install a fire suppression system in it. I've looked at many alternatives and this is the one I've selected. This is the automatic fire suppression system by Blaze Cut. These units come in many different sizes. They're made in the European Union and they're maintenance free and they're basically on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. These are basically a plastic tube, highly pressure, pressurized. They, they function 24 seven and they contain a very potent fire extinguisher that when fire gets to this, opens it up, boom, the fire is put out. On the end of these is a pressure gauge and you can mount these so that you can just peek at this pressure gauge every once in a while and be sure that everything is fine. To mount this, I'm going to mount it under the top edge because you want it high so it can disperse the fire retardant down onto the fire. I've printed these very simple connectors and I'll put a link to this. I'll also put a link to the blaze cut and there are many different sizes. There's a large 100, this is the 25, there's a 50. Pick the size that is good for your enclosure. Let's take a look. So here's the top of my enclosure and I measured it and this blaze cut 25, the T-series, fits in here perfectly. I'm going to drill two holes where these connectors will mount and then we'll put it upside down underneath so I can see the ends of this including that gauge. So I've opened the lid. There's a little ledge underneath here. I'm going to mount it so that these brackets fit just adjacent to this lid. We're going to mark it and drill our three millimeter holes for our screws. So I've marked the spot where I want to drill those two three millimeter holes. I've got a three millimeter drill here. There it is. So we'll put our screws in and mount our, mount our blaze cut. So this is the mounting hardware. We've got a 25 millimeter long, three millimeter hex drive. It takes a two millimeter hex drive, two washers, one under the screw head, one for the nut. And the nut is a nylon locking nut takes a 5.5 millimeter socket. So we're going to put those in right now. Another thing when it comes to fire safety is to consider having a smoke alarm inside your printer. This ultra high pitched loud 120 decibel signal will go through walls, multiple rooms, different floors, allows you the chance to hear when there's a disaster going on so you can address it. And again, these battery probably replace it once a year. And in this application. It can be set at the bottom or on the wall. Putting it up here under, under the top of the enclosure is a little problematic because it's going to interfere with the top of the extruder cables. So I'm going to put mine in the back of the cabinet and indicate which way to remove it because when, you're, when you take it off, then you can change the battery. So I'm just going to put loosen and put a little arrow here which allows me to take it off when I need to replace the battery. So put a, smoke, put a smoke alarm inside your printer enclosure for safety. So thank you for watching. That's a great way to do fire suppression for your printer. It's gonna put, it's gonna give you safety, peace of mind. There's another option known as Wham Bam the Cloud. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. It's a different product, but it seems to be very effective. The videos are on the, online to look at those. It's basically a disc that when it heats up, flame touches it, boom, it, it explodes and puts all that fire uh, suppression uh, powder everywhere and stops the fire. But this is the automatic fire suppression system, the blaze cut. 
I think this is the top of the line. This is great. It's used in racing, uh, engines, boating, electrical panels, etc. It's it's made in the uh, European Union and the quality seems to be outstanding. If this was helpful, consider clicking thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot and consider subscribing. Thank you.